Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. I usually don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. Now, again, consider liking this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing this video. Because you guys, sometimes I feel you bump into the video, you watch, you go. You forget to like the video. So I'm reminding you, like the video. Thank you so much for the like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, regarding a Shagwa, is now warming up to resign as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya and to go and start another political party that is going to be an earthquake to William Ruto's political momentum in the next general election 2027. Now I'm hearing from his close allies as now they are consoling themselves, seeing if this marriage in between regarding the Shagwa and William Ruto cannot continue, we have a right to walk out. Counter is simple. It's either the marriage materialize and move on. Or if there is difficulties, people part. Okay. Yes, because it is not cast on a stone that it should be permanent. Mm. There's no permanent enmity in politics. And there is also not, no, no, no permanent friendship in politics. If you think that I have become a burden, and then there comes an element of betrayal, at that time, then you decide what next. Because uh, if things are being crafted, and are crafted to, you have, uh, to, to, to discredit you, and create your failure. Because the situation as it is, it's obvious that uh, the young tax of like of Dede Nyoro and the team of Itumbi and the team like uh, Mwangi Kyunjuri, these are young tax that are actually being spent to spoil the image of Gashagwa from his homeyard. We have seen this, this, this there before during Mwenje and Dr. Karanja. And this is something that is coming at a time that now regarding Shagwa has embarked to serious Mount Kenya rallies. Serious Mount Kenya rallies. And his rallies is purely to praise Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, try to console and request for forgiveness from Mamangina Kenyatta and Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. What is the purpose of regarding a shower currently now having public rallies in the mountain. Niyewe na wakwa ni konyitida ni yado o. Tuwa ugida modo othe wale wa UDA, wale wa Jubiri, wale wa Azimio. Agikono tonari yungu wadera alia, tohanere, tolekanere, tohikane tuwe kendo keke. Giuga ginya uru wa kenyata ni mwana wito, oke tonyita ne? How the hell? Did you come to Bona Baranake? Did you get to the Gatia Vire? Did you talk about Vira? Do you need to know your bem or Twedane? Told Togia Quedana, Toga Kuiguana, Toga Yokanio. And so this comes after regarding the Shagwa had announced the support of one man, one vote, one shilling. The reason why the close allies of William Ruto are so furious about regarding Ashago is about that statement. Remember when William Ruto led a team during the BBI period to reject the one man, one vote, one shilling? The argument was in a quite what work on a population mingi. Now, our talk it taxes mingi, wanapewa, revenue allocation mingi. And so, the Rift Valley close allies of William Ruto are coming out to ask, what about us that our population niko chini, but we have big lands? Tuko na mashaba kubwa kubwa, tunalima, na inaleta chakula, inaleta taxes mingi, one vote doesn't work because uh, a place that is concentrated 
like for example in a town how do you how do you allocate resources if you say one man one boat and what about this man who has a big land from Mozingishu who tills his land and provides for food for the rest of the Kenyans so we want to say we don't want to go into that uh, that kind of politics but we believe in our share of revenue we will be able to satisfy our people and give them the enough services. There's no county that proposed one man, one shilling, one vote as a parameter. So as a commission, we are not going to consider that because it never came from any county. And also from a professional perspective, one man, one shilling, one vote is just one parameter. And you can never use one parameter to allocate resources. Because for us, we are talking about balanced development. We want every Kenyan in this country to feel that they are Kenyans. We want development to reach each corner of this country. And when we use that one man, one shilling, one, one vote parameter, some Kenyans will be left behind. But as CRA, we said... And so... Regarding Ashagwa's statement, is now making him to have a political rival in between his close allies and William Ruto's close allies. I've displayed the video of Silvano Sosoro in the last video, where Silvano Sosoro is complaining about those individuals who are underrating and blackmailing William Samuel Ruto with his policies. And now they are changing against William Ruto's uh, ideologies and agendas. And clearly, if you listen to these individuals, they are now coming out to hit hard regarding Keshawa. Because regarding Keshawa, said one man, one vote, one ship. Oh, right. Again, at the same time, this man, this issue of one man, one vote, one shilling, is bringing him a lot of trouble. Ame onelea sasa, akimbie. Akimbie. Aende, a request for support of Uru Mege Kenyatta. But this support of Uru Mege Kenyatta uh, is not bearing fruit at all. Because at the same time, Uru Kenyatta is having his own course. And the declaration of Limuru 3 is sending also a shockwave to William Samoy Ruto in terms of his political momentum in the mountain. And what he's doing now, there is a team in Rift Valley that are busy searching that person who will add value in terms of votes in the next general election 2027 in the mountain. And because they have realized that the, the, the narrative that Rigali Gashagwa started, if they endorse Aidan Dindi Nyoro, or Anwai Guru, then this is going to add them value in the next general election. So then there is a team in Rift Valley, and that is why the close allies of Rigali Shawa say that they will not accept. Come and buy, buy. They will not accept Rigali Shawa to be uh, blackmailed because now they have realized that Rigali Shawa is talking about things that are going to benefit the mountain. And so earlier on, even you could see Rigali Shawa pleading to meet with the Uru Megei Kenyatta. Yeah? In a certain burial in the mountain, Kitambo, Kidogo, uh, Uru Kenyatta liko kwa yu mazishi na katoka kabla regarding ya Shagwa kukuja. So regarding ya Shagwa regretted a lot why he came late and he wanted to have a conversation and even handshake with Uru Megei Kenyatta. All this uh, kind of drama you're seeing today about the politics of Rigadi is that we're being told regarding ya Shagwa is planning to exit. And by exiting, is looking for another political party. Because So he wants to start endorsing another party. Either to start his, where if Uhuru Kenyatta is going to accept, which for me, I don't think if Uhuru Kenyatta will easily support Rigali Gashagwa, despite of even praising him. You know, we are being told even Rigali Gashagwa has tried his best to plan a meeting with Uhuru Mege Kenyatta but Uru is declining. At, at the same time, we are being told that Rigali Gashagwa is planning Sagana meeting uh, as we approach uh, December. And so we are likely to have a 31st December of this year where Rigali Gashagwa is going to make his declaration. At the same time, we are having Moses Kuria. Also, I analyzed a video last week about Moses Kuria talking about the August 20th that he is going to declare 
the political earthquake, then after that he will not speak again until the next general election 2027. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a simple question. What do you think if we got Gashagwa resigned today? Can he destroy William Root in the mountain? Because remember one thing I told you, there are two people. Wakirisain tu watoke kwa serikali ya William Ruto, they will say everything. Moses Kuria and Rigadi Gashagwa. And that is why some people are even praying Rigadi Gashagwa to resign. Na kirisain, wape mtu mungine, na Rigadi Gashagwa handile na kusiyake, na haribu serikali ya William Ruto, kama serikali ya mbayo, ijafanya mount Kenya kazi yote. And so, in partnership with Uhuru Kenyatta, which for me, I don't think if there will be easily partnership with Uhuru Kenyatta. Because we are being told Uhuru Kenyatta is also having his team. Look at the Limuru 3 conference. It is something that was sponsored. It was not just something that people came up with. Then some people wakasmamia transport yao, ngina walitoka kirinyaga, ngina walitoka muranga, all the way to Laikipia. Then you want to tell me what was it just mamia? We have been told the Limuru 3 conference was sponsored. And the man behind this, you have been told, is Uhuru Megia Kenyatta. During the last declaration of Limuru 3 conference, you saw even a, 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 a podium, Wakibeba Picha Uhuru Megia Kenyatta. So this declaration shows that they are still believing that Uhuru Kenyatta is a man that will change the mountain. So we are just looking at the possibility of Rigali Gashagwa resigning and partnering, partnering, partnering with uh, Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. And what is the next course? Are they going to destroy William Ruto? And what about the team that is now being molded in the mountain uh, that is going to support uh, William Ruto in the mountain? That is um, Denis Situmi, um, Dindi Nyoro, and um, the member of parliament of Lekipia East constituency that is Mwagi Kyunjuri and Anu Eguru. So those two people, Anu Eguru and Dini Nyoro, one of them are going to replace Rigadi Kashawa. And so we are waiting the battle the way it is going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider liking this video. You subscribe, you comment, and you share. Till we meet in another video.